this is a game that I'll play with Tonka in the off season. And what I do is I just like take objects and hide them out in a the field, just put them wherever randomly. And Tonka has to go find them. Now the objects I made and they just have uh, bird feathers. And I probably put a little bird scent on these, but that's the game. I hide it and he goes and finds it, goes into point, and then we repeat. So I'll just throw one right there and then I'll take one right over there. Now this game is only played one way. That's by my rules. Tonka said, it, it doesn't matter. He knows that we're playing the game. He must be under control. So we walk out here, he stays at heel, and then I give him the hunt him up command. Tonka, hunt him up. He's, he's got the one in the far corner. He's got two conflicting smells. He's got one on each end. He's made his decision now. No, whoa. Now I give him a retrieve. He doesn't have to wait long. I'm going to throw it and he can get it. You get it? Get it, Tonk. Good boy. Come here, Tonk. Here. Good boy, here. Sit. Still got another another one in the field. Tonka. Tonka. Hunt him up. He's got it. No, whoa. Now I'm gonna throw it, but I want him to stand well. Tonka. Good boy. Now, if you want your dog to like the retrieve, too, don't take it out of their mouth right away. Let them walk around with it for a little while. Remember, the retrieving object itself, it's never used as a chew toy. It's never left on the ground. It's only for when the dog is working with the human. Do you understand? The dog owns nothing. The retrieving item is yours and you use it with the dog. Oh, drop. Hey, you see that? That's pretty saucy. Sit. Heel.
Sit.